in month nine, my locks have finally reached the length that they were when I first started my braid locks. What is up, Flockers? That is my fellow lockers and aspiring lockers. Today, we are celebrating our nine month lock anniversary. so let's get into it. So jumping right into it, let's not waste any time. Today's gonna be short and sweet because there aren't that many changes that have happened in the past month. So let's just go ahead and get into it. If you've watched my other videos, then you guys see close-ups of my hair all the time, but I will just go ahead and let you see what my locks are looking like in month nine of my micro lock braid lock journey. I have, oop. I have a fresh retwist that I did less than a week ago. If I got a little dandruff, don't come for me because my scalp is dry, but that's just where we are. We come on this channel real and raw and we don't try to hide it. Yep, dry skin, that's all right. But yes, this is what my locks are looking like nine months in. Those of you that know, know the ones around the front of my perimeter still maintain a lot of the braid pattern and I still have curly ends on a lot of my locks. And then also, I also have ends that have sealed up in the back, which is gonna be harder for me to show you because I'm not gonna be able to see necessarily, but curly ends all around my head. Some are starting to lock up. Some of the braid patterns are disappearing, especially around the back of my head. So let me give you a 360 and then we can talk more about changes that I'm seeing. As I mentioned, not that much has changed from month eight to month nine. As anyone going through a lock journey would know that there are some months where they are very similar to previous months and then there's other months where it's like you wake up and you're like, wow, I feel like I've come a long way in the last four or five weeks of this lock journey. Every single month for the past several months, there has been more swelling, more budding. My locks are budding in different places. Some are budding on the ends, some are budding in the middle, some are budding up higher, closer to the root. It just depends. The locks do what they want to do. There's no predicting and there's just, there's no way to do anything but just to let them do what they're gonna do. As much as you try to manipulate and stuff, the locks are still gonna do what they wanna do. You can try to do a little bit here and there, but for the most part, you can't control it. Yeah, like this one, we got budding up in this area. And then other ones, the budding is lower down. I've got a couple of locks, which I probably won't be able to find on camera right now, but that look and feel like they've got that, the pregnant lock look where it looks pretty uniform up until you get to the bump. And then there's this big old bump in your lock where it's just swollen. So nope, probably not gonna be able to find that right now on camera, of course not. But just know that I have them and that's a change, not a change, but a development because I've noticed that there are more budding locks and that the swelling is getting more and more. Oh, here's a nice big juicy one. So yeah, this one in the middle of the lock, it's just got this nice juicy section where it is budding, it is flourishing, it is doing what it does and in the end, is doing what it wants to do. It's still curly, it's got a little part at the end that probably will come off at some point. And I do not pull those off, I just let them be. I leave them and just let them do what they wanna do. I would also say that something that is similar to month eight, but even more in month nine, is that they are getting more weight to them. And I've also noticed that I feel like my locks have finally reached, in month nine, my locks have finally reached the length that they were when I first started my braid locks. They were really close in month eight, but I really feel like now they're at the length that they were that first day before they started to shrivel up and before I started to see shrinkage. But yeah, there's a weight to them that there hasn't been in the past. You know, 
they're starting to fall on their own. Granted, they're not super long, but they just, they move more. You know, when I turn my head and stuff, they're moving, they're not stiff. <laughs> stiff wear. They, uh, they just have this fluidity to them that they, they didn't before. Out in the wind, you know, you got your Beyonce fan moment where the wind's blowing and your locks are just blowing in the wind doing their own thing, so. That's cool. Who doesn't like a Beyonce? Who doesn't like a Beyonce fan moment or Mariah fan moment? Whatever you know, fan. Pick your your artist. I am noticing less shrinkage than before when I wash my hair, but as always with locks, there's still shrinkage. Right now, my hair is freshly retwisted, so there's not hardly any new growth to show you. But when it is time for a retwist and there's a lot of new growth at the roots, especially when I wash my hair those roots definitely shrink up and you can see a difference. I'll have to, to show in a video or a short sometime the difference in half of my head when it's wet because I mean the difference will be like, these will be like this and then this side will be like this, which I mean it's not a huge difference but it's, it's a significant difference when it comes to shrinkage. And something that I wanted to start doing was measuring my locks each update. I did do a length check as a separate video just because I had already done my eight month and I didn't think to just wait until my nine month. So if you already saw the length check video, the results I'm sure because it's only been a week and a half maybe are not going to have changed at all. But I just wanna go ahead and document that today so that I have it in this particular update. And then when I get to 10 months, I will have a 10 month update with a like, a light check, hmm, <laughs> with a length check. So I've got my trusty dusty. Y'all, I'm off today. Well, hold up, <laughs> trusty dusty. Handy dandy, yeah, we'll go with trusty dusty since it rhymes. Trusty dusty measuring tape with the metal tip. If y'all saw my length check video, y'all saw me snatching out my roots in the back. So get one without a metal tip or just be super careful. So when I measured them before in the front, actually all around, in the back they were I think five and a half and everywhere else they were about six and a half inches. So like I said, it's only been a little over a week, so I highly doubt that I have any growth. The only difference is now I have a fresh retwist, and so they're not going to be as stretchy as they were before. But my guess is that we're still working with the same amount. Okay, so with the retwist, we're, we're, we're reaching seven. I don't know if that's, I, I don't think my hair grew half an inch in in two weeks, I think it's just the retwist. But yeah, so we're reaching about seven. All right, let's go a little bit further down. I think last time I got from right around this area, sideburn area, also was six and a half. So I'm going to the root. We're gonna keep it. The vernacular stays the same to the root. If you don't know what it is, then go check out my length check video so you can <laughs> learn what the root is. All right, where are we, where are we? Okay, we're at 7-2. Y'all, this is not, I think, I don't know. I would think that when your locks are not freshly retwisted and there's more give, that they would have more length to them, but it seems like I have more length now that they are freshly retwisted. So, as I said, I'll start doing these length checks with my, oh, y'all stay letting me have my hair sticking out on camera. Come on now. I will start doing these length checks along with my monthly updates just so that I can try to have a fresh retwist when I do them so that it's consistent every time. Because if I just randomly do them, I might have different amounts of regrowth. Regrowth, I'm struggling y'all. I don't know what's going on with my brain today. It's, it's, it's something, it's been a week. I want to make sure that I have, don't have different amounts of new growth every single time that I do the length check. So if I try to do it when my hair is freshly retwisted, then I think that the results will be a little bit more accurate and telling than if I were to try to randomly just do length checks. So I'll try to keep the variables as consistent as possible. All right, then the last one in the back, like I said, it was five and a half when I did it about a week and a half, two weeks ago. And we're at six, so okay. We gotta scratch the other length check video because apparently my locks are half an inch consistently longer than I thought they were in that video. So we're measuring seven, 
seven inches and six and a half in the back. And I think I explained in the last video, the reason I think they're long or shorter in the back is because those locks have matured more and this one, the end is closed and it's just, yeah. So the locks are shorter back there. But y'all, we're growing. For anyone out there who is new into their lock journey or maybe you're further along in your lock journey and you just get discouraged by how slow of a process this is, I just want to encourage you because they call it a journey for a reason. No journey is problem free. No journey is easy from start to finish. A journey is just that. It is a journey of ups and downs, of highs and lows. And it's the same with your hair. Now, of course, you can choose how you want to react to the highs and lows, but there are still gonna be highs and lows in your journey. So try to embrace them as much as possible. Hang in there, stick in there on those days where you're just like, man, I wish my hair would grow faster. I wish I could achieve this length so I can do these styles or so that I can have this certain look. Just be patient. You will get there eventually. Embrace the journey, embrace the hard days because when you look back on those hard days, you're gonna be like, that was nothing. It was worth it to get to where it is now because I mean, you never have a bad hair day with locks. Even when you need a, a retwist and your stuff is looking, or a retie, and your stuff is looking to you like it's off and jacked up, everybody else is still gonna be thinking that your locks are looking fire and that you're having a great hair day. So that is a huge perk of having locks. They always look done and maintained, even when they're not freshly maintained. So embrace that, embrace the journey. Don't be discouraged. If you are discouraged, that's okay. Sit in that for a little bit and then be re-encouraged and keep pushing forward, keep moving, stay on this journey. Let's stay locked together. Hit that subscribe button so that you can join the flock and hit the like button so that I know what type of content you all are enjoying. Thank you so much for tuning in and check out my eight month journey, eight month lock journey, or some of my other videos while you're here. I'll see you over there.